everybody, so excited to bring you this tour of my new makeup room. Um, there's so many exciting, fun, new things that I want to share with you that are in this room. Um, this won't be a collection video. I definitely am going to do one of those very soon, but I just thought I would save the storage and the collection aspect specifically for another video because there's so many little details to get into with that. But as for this room, I am so enjoying it. I've just been in here for now a couple of weeks and it's been painted loving this paint color and any little details that I have you know specifics about the room or certain products that I mentioned that are in here I will link to those in the info box if you want some more information on them. Well, I totally love the hot pink color that I had in the old makeup room I thought you know if we're going to be painting this room anyway I would go for something a little bit different so the color scheme in here I would say it's like light pink black white and gold lots of gold accents I just love the way golds look up against this particular paint color um, and a lot of aspects in terms of the layout of the room really remained similar to my old room I have windows that face the west so I definitely wanted to take advantage of every bit of natural light I could so I wanted to point my makeup desk toward those windows. I definitely kept certain furniture pieces and stuff like that, but I've also integrated a little office area into this room, which the extra space allows me to do. This room is definitely wider, longer. It just has a little more space in here to work with, and I think you're gonna see that as we go throughout the tour. So first off, here's a little 360 degree um, look at the room. We've got some storage. This is that L-shaped desk that I had in the other room pretty much surrounded by makeup storage. Um, got a painting there between the two windows from my sister. Lots of gourds that still need to be worked with and hidden there, but um, this great little stand was actually something that I'd had since my apartment days. Got that for free from our landlord then, and I've continued to use it ever since, using it in very much the same way um, as the other room that I had. The old makeup room lives on. My sister had done this portrait of me in my old makeup room and so that has a place on these walls for sure and then I've got my little zebra print bench that made it here and then in this corner this is what's new this is kind of like can you tell it's a pretty much like a square room with like a little area that jets back in here and so this is my office nook this is where I edit I keep my equipment I've got some books and stuff but that's just been a great little spot to keep everything all in one place and then we've got a closet right here. This little area here is just kind of like a background basically. Um, if I'm sitting right at my makeup desk and kind of centered up at it, this is sort of what you'll see in the background. I actually made this E. I got a cardboard E from Hobby Lobby. I taped on some glittery like scrapbook paper. So that's totally a little DIY project anybody can do there. But um, really playing off of the soft pink and the gold. Um, when you turn over here, here's another area you might see in the background and I grouped together. I kind of had this going on in my other room too. Uh, some gold lipsticks. I love the look of gold makeup packaging. So I have that there. Some gold brushes. Most of those are Tarte. This fun little piggy bank that I've got and just some really girly pretty looking pieces there that I will probably switch around and, and do different things with but I just think they look so lovely there all together. And this cute little bottle. I just uh, came up with at Hobby Lobby, one of those really like old school looking beauty items. Um, this was the missing piece of the makeup room for a while, this really cool gold mirror. I was wanting either a clock or a mirror or something on this wall space that I've got here. And for the longest time I couldn't find anything and then I found this just yesterday at Kohl's half price. So woohoo, so happy about that. Another big item is this light fixture up here. This is new. This used to be a ceiling fan up top and this was something we found at Lowe's. I honestly thought it was going to be like half the size and I was going to put it over the nook area. But then when we saw how big it was shaping up to be, uh, we thought, let's make that, you know, kind of a centerpiece. So it's great. I love it. It's so fun and just, I think, really fits with the room nicely. I've got three Alex drawer. These are the nine drawer systems right here. So I'll go through those in a separate, like, storage and organization video. Got my trash can down there and then two of the short but wide 
um, Alex drawer thingies down below the desk. They really fit nicely with just a little bit of uh, clearance right here under my desk, which came from Staples. This is the one I've been using for a while now. Here's the 27, soon to be 28 week baby bump saying hello to you. Uh, but this mirror, this is my Vanity Girl Hollywood makeup mirror. I have had this for um, going on like three years now. Love it. Haven't even had to change a bulb since I've had it and you know this has been getting a lot of use. Continue to store my brushes in this thing that I think is from Pampered Chef. Found that randomly left over in the old house and have been using it ever since as brush storage. It's great because it rotates and it separates so that's really nice. So from the desk I get to have this lovely painting from my sister in view. She gave this to me uh, for Christmas this past year and you can get prints of this by the way. This is the original but you can get prints if you're interested in having something like this in any number of sizes in your room. Um, back here I've just got a little area with my empties bin, a couple of extra like overflow storagey items, train cases, Bibles, etc. I mentioned briefly what I've got over here but it really hasn't changed much since the last time. Some smaller books. I got a little display area here that was from uh, L magazine back in the day. That was really, really cool to get to be in that. I got all my nail polish here stored in some layered spice racks. I have a blog about how I did that and where I got those from. And then just more nail supplies in the bottom. Love, love, love that bench. Got my laptop bag there, a long black cord that once again needs to be hidden. Um, this bookshelf actually used to hold uh, my makeup, like all those plastic drawers in my old makeup room. It was sitting like right behind me in a lot of my videos right kind of off to the side So I was glad I was still able to use that and have the space for that in here Despite having the new makeup storage that you see there and Really, my thought with the whole makeup area is that I want to keep as many things within reach as possible So I love just being able to sit in that chair being able to turn around and basically be surrounded by any Makeup item I might need you know the eye stuff the lip stuff the palette it's, it's all been kind of stowed away in there and it's great to have that kind of access that's definitely something that I had in the old room and I'm having it here but I think with much more efficient like better separation and storage and stuff. For my office nook I just stuck some flowers up there that I had. My EOS lip balm bowl lives on. Um, I've got these cute little lip shaped makeup bags that I think are adorable. Some of my big makeup books here on this top shelf. My sister has gotten me most of these and I just think the cover of that one particularly is gorgeous but I've got a few more there as well. The rest of the space isn't super worked out yet. Um, just a space for some equipment, um, some stationery and stuff, a little filing box that I have. This little table used to be in the corner of my other room. I just put it here with a lamp on it so if I don't want to use both of these overhead lights which come on at the same time, so if I don't want the room fully lit I'm just sitting over here, I have this little lamp. And then this white desk is a new thing that we got from Ikea and it was a matter of buying both the desk and the top part. So you had to get those both separately. But it's a really, really nice fit for a compact area. I mean, that is not a large desk at all, but it fits me well. It's got a small drawer over here, um, also a little cabinety type thing with several shelves, and then like your standard kind of office drawer right there. And then the top part gives you this top shelf, which could be great for books, and then um, three little cubby holes down the side. So I just really am enjoying this. This fits my iMac just great for my editing. And then last but not least is the closet. So we got like a walk-in type of closet here. I've got lots of storage up top from uh, train case type things to extra decorations and bags and technology, various things. In my old closet I had these drawers and bookshelves and I was just able to really transfer them right in here. I've got like overflow of older makeup, makeup samples. I've got some extra palettes going on here. A lot of my Coastal Sense palettes up in here now. If I've been sent something for review and it's kind of waiting to be looked at, I've got that in here. And I've got more seasonal, like limited edition type palettes in here as well. I don't have 
have everything filled in here. I've definitely got ways I could condense things, but so far I basically just took the way I had it in my old room, which was more just straight across left to right, and now it's more so in this square type shape. And I've just got this little cart right here with some extra, you know, text stuff. But really happy about this closet. It offers a lot of nice extra space. Another thing that I love is that this room is so close to the nursery. It's right around that corner. And I could totally see popping open a playpen in here on some of this floor space for Miss Bell. And by the way, I definitely will do some updates on the nursery as we add to it. Right now there's not much more than empty boxes in that room at the moment, but I will be doing some more stuff like that, more home related stuff on the vlog channel. So that's Beauty Vlogcast if you want to go there and subscribe and be ready for whatever's to come. Hey, did you just miss the tour? So thank you so much for joining me for this room tour. I'm really excited to explore some of the different um, areas that I have in this room to shoot my videos in. I think that's going to be a lot of fun and definitely keep your eyes out for a collection video coming in the near future. Uh, totally new uh, configuration as far as my makeup storage goes here. So uh, that's going to be really fun to share. I had a lot of fun uh, filling up all these drawers from Ikea. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time time. Bye guys.